The first one is by recurrence relation of a Bessel's function that we know that d by dx is equal to x power p, jp of x is equal to j x power p j minus p minus 1x. This is a recurrence relation we have already derived in the previous one of the lecture. So if you integrate both sides, integrating both side we get integration x power p j p minus 1 x that is this side I am writing first and then that is equal to x power p j p x plus c in particular if I put x is equal to sorry, p equal to 1 in particular this is actually true for any p positive so in particular I am putting p equal to 1 we have is x power p that is x into j0 of x dx is equal to x into j1 x dx plus c similarly another recurrence relation we arrive or we derive is d by dx of x power minus p j p of x is equal to minus of x power minus p j p plus 1 x and if you integrate here also then we can have integration x power minus p j p plus 1 x dx will gives you minus of x power minus p j p of x plus c now related to this we will have this example let us see f of x is equal to 1 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1 by 2 1 by 2 is x is equal to 1 by 2 and 0 if it is between 1 by 2 to 1 so this function is defined over 1 by 2 then the question is expand this into the series of basis function or the question is so that it is a Bessel's its Bessel's series expansion so that is f of x is equal to summation n running from 1 to infinity j1 lambda power or lambda n upon 2 upon lambda n j n lambda n whole square into j 0 lambda n x where lambda n is the 0 of a Bessel's function this is the things which we have derived when we have seen that the Bessel's series expansion is there so we should write that where this lambda n are positive 0 of j 0 of x in solution the Bessel's series of f of x is given by f of x is equal to summation n running from 1 to infinity a n j p lambda n x this is the Bessel series expansion we have where this lambda n is a positive zeros of j p of x where lambda n are positive roots of j p of x and this a n you can calculate as 2 by j p plus 1 lambda n square integration from 0 to 1 x into fx into jp lambda n x dh this is the things we already derived in previous one of the lecture and here I am using that one so here the function 
question was to express this is into this form that is j0 of x so in here p equal to 0 we have to consider for this function so let p equal to 0 we have fx is equal to s for this formula is summation n running from 1 to infinity a n j 0 lambda n x where lambda n are positive zeros of j 0 of x so this is a positive zeros of j 0 of x and where we need to find out what is this a n so where this a n is 2 by as per this it is j p plus 1 so p equal to we have to substitute we have substituted 0 so it is j 1 lambda n x square uh, square of that summation uh, integration from 0 to 1 x into fx j 0 of lambda n x dx now the function is this function is in between 0 to 1 by 2 it has a value 1 at 1 by 2 it has value 1 by 2 and at 1 by 2 to 1 it will have a value 0 so this integration split into three parts actually two parts but the one part is already 0 because it is given you at one point only so that's why this is gives you two parts the 0 to 1 by 2 x into fx j0 lambda n x dx plus 1 by 2 to 1 x into fx j0 lambda n x dx but instead of x into fx the function value is 0 so that's why this will gives you 0 value and for this one you will have a function value is 1 in that interval so that's why it is x into the function value is 1 so that's why it is gives you j1 of x lambda n square 0 to 1 x into j0 of lambda n x dx and the limit is from 0 to 1 by 2 here we have to prove this where the summation so the value of this a n will be this one that is our objective so now i just replacing putting the value lambda n x is equal to t so that's for this is lambda n dx is equal to dt so that is x will be this will gives you x will be t by lambda n when x is 0 then when x is 0 then t will be 0 and when x is 1 by 2 the t will be lambda n by 2 so hence we will have that is by substituting that value here I can say this is a n equal to two by lambda one or j n lambda n whole square integration from 0 to lambda n by 2 then it is x so it is t by lambda n j 0 of t into dt by lambda n and if I this lambda n is independent of t so this can be written as 2 by lambda n square into j1 lambda n square 
zero to lambda n by two t into j zero of t t t. Now here in the previously we have just before few minutes we have derived that. x into j0 of x dx is x into j1 of x dx or j1 of x plus c so if i use that integration formula here then this will gives you 2 by lambda n square as it is j1 lambda n whole square into t into j1 t and the limit is 0 to lambda n Right. This is because integration of x into j zero of x dx will be x into j one of x plus c. That is, we have just, just before few minutes we have derived that. So this will gives you by putting the limits, we'll have two by lambda n square j one lambda n whole square lambda n by two j one lambda n minus zero. So this one lambda is cancel out with this one. One this j n is cancel out with this one. Two will get cancel. So the quantity which is left, it is one upon lambda n j one lambda n. So that is the value of a n. Sorry, here it is. Lambda n two, so I cannot take out. I cannot remove this. So this is uh, substituted a wrong value. This is two as it is. This one, this two is also as it is. So this is two upon two whole square is there. This is lambda n by two, and this is j one lambda n by two. This was my mistake. So this is lambda n square. The square of this. Two will get cancelled. Lambda will get cancelled here. So the left is j one lambda n by two. The so final k n is j one lambda n by two upon lambda n into j one lambda n whole square, where lambda n is a zero of j zero of x. This is your a n. And if you substitute this value of a n into this series, which we have here, that is a n into j zero of lambda n x. Therefore, we can have this way f x is equal to summation n running from one to infinity a n j zero of lambda n x will give you summation n running from one to infinity. A n that is j one lambda n by two upon lambda n j one lambda n whole square into j zero of lambda n x. So this is the final answer for the function. So in that way, if any function is given to you, any function here instead of f x, in particular this one, we can express. Into the power series of. Let us have another example here. The last example that might be for today. So the example is: if f of x is equal to x power p, or x is between. Minus one to one. Then question is so that the Bessel series expansion, that is x power p, is equal to summation n running from one to infinity two upon lambda n j p plus one lambda n j p lambda n x. That is, this x power p function can be expressed into the Fourier Bessel series. Into this form, where this lambda n is the positive zero of 
j0 of x. So this is our objective to deal with this. We know that fx, any function fx, so let us do the solution. Any function fx can be written into the Bessel series expansion that is n running from 1 to infinity a and j p of lambda n x, where this lambda n is a positive 0 of j p of x and this a n can be calculated as 2 upon j p plus 1 lambda n square integration from 0 to 1 x into f x j p lambda n x dx. Now here f x is x power p so the question is to calculate this a n 2 upon j p plus 1 lambda n whole square integration from 0 to 1 x into x power p j p lambda n x dx so this is x power p plus 1 so this is 2 power j p plus 1 lambda n whole square will be 0 to 1 x power p plus 1 j p lambda n x dx so what will be the integration of this j p plus 1 j p lambda n x dx so to do this just we are replacing this lambda n x is equal to t so putting lambda n x is equal to t which will give you x is equal to t by lambda n so if I have this dx will give you dt by lambda n if x is 0 will gives you t will be 0 if x is 1 will give you t will be lambda n so this an is now converting into 2 by j p plus 1 lambda n as it is a square of that integration from 0 to lambda n t power p, p plus 1 upon so this is x power p plus 1 is there so it is t power p plus 1 upon lambda n power p plus 1 into j p of t d, dx is there so it is dt by lambda n that is dx the value of dx we have substituted like this so this will gives you and this lambda n is independent of x so i can just write down that is as 2 upon lambda n power t plus 2 because this is plus 1 plus 1 is here and this is j p plus 1 lambda n whole square integration from 0 to 1 t power t plus 1 j p t dx dt will be there now this formula is also we have derived for starting with this uh, video in this lecture that is x power p j p minus 1 x dx is equal to x power p j p x plus c this is the things which we have derived here when i started this uh, lecture that is this one j p x power p j p minus 1 dx is x power p j p x dx so this is the things we have proved so we will use that one here to discuss this quantity and so this will gives you this quantity will gives you this is uh, limit is from 0 to lambda n that uh, is there this is 2 upon lambda n power p plus 2 j p plus 1 lambda n whole square and the integration of this one is t power or i can say x power p instead of p here is p plus 1 okay so whenever is p is there it is p plus 1 so it is x power p plus 1 j p plus 1 x and the limit is from 0 to lambda n if you substitute this lambda n and 0 here that means substituting the limits this is lambda n power p plus 2 
jp plus 1 lambda n whole square this is lambda n power p plus 1 p plus 1 lambda n minus 0 and you can just observe that this quantity will get cancelled with this one and jp plus 1 is get cancelled with that one so that is the final answer is 2 upon lambda n into jp plus 1 lambda n and if you substitute this value of a n into the series that we have here we will have our required series that is this that is summation 2 upon jp plus 1 so therefore we can have fx that is x power p equal to summation n running from minus infinity sorry 1 to infinity 1 of 2 upon lambda n jp plus 1 lambda n into jp lambda n x so this was the problem is to discuss regarding this there are another there are many problems you can do deal with this same concept let me give you one as an exercise to do to you that use this formula that is if i can say this is the star one that is 2 upon lambda n jp plus 1 lambda n and so that this g to show the formal lee that if gx is well defined function on the interval zero to one such that one by two integration zero to one x power p plus one gf gx dx is summation n running from one to infinity one over lambda n jp plus one lambda n 0 to 1 x into gx jp lambda n x dx if i call this is as a double star okay so gx is such function then by taking gx x power p prove that or so that summation n running from 1 to infinity 1 upon lambda power lambda n square is 1 upon 4 p plus 1 by taking this is a this is b by taking g of x is equal to x power p plus 2 so that summation n running from 1 to infinity 1 upon lambda power n power 4 is equal to 1 upon 16 into p plus 1 square into p plus 2 okay so this is i am giving you as a homework to do it yourself and try to do it okay so that's it for this video or this lecture if you have any question you can ask